Hello everyone. I'm Reverend Charles Wariekere. I love the Lord as my personal savior and I want to share with us from Proverbs chapter 18 and verses 24 about a true friend. But I will invite you to pray with me before we can share. Almighty and everlasting God, we want to give you thanks for this day that you've given to us. And as we share from your word about our true friend, we invite you to be our ministers, King of Glory, that these words will create an impact in our lives and cause a transformation in us that will be a people that are worthy before your sight. For the glory and honor of your name, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Friends, we will be reading from Proverbs chapter 18, 18 and verses 24. And I want to read from two versions. The first version is the New King James Version. And this scripture says, A man who has a friend must himself be friendly. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And in the Life Application Bible, the same verse says, There are friends who pretend to be friends, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a friend. Friends, King Solomon, in his wisdom, made these two sentences. A man who has a friend, a man who has friends must himself be friendly, or there is a friend who pretends to be friends. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Many people today feel out of and alienated from others. Being in a crowd just makes people more aware of their isolation. Lonely people don't need to hear, have a nice day. Because when they hear that word, have a nice day, it provokes them to feel the way they are feeling, to know how isolated they are. They need friends who need to hear them. They will need friends who will stick closer, who will listen, care, and offer help when it's needed. Those are the friends that people need, somebody who will be closer to them, somebody who will be able to listen to them, somebody who will be able to care and offer help when it's needed. In good times and in bad times, those are friends that ought to be closer to those that need them. It's better to have one such a friend than dozens of superficial friends, people who will say they are friends to you when indeed they are not. They have other intentions that they have for you, that they desire from you, but they are not actual friends, just superficial friends. Instead of wishing you could find a true friend, seek to become one yourself. There are moments in life that we desire to have friends. We seek to have friends when we are not friendly to other people. But we desire them to be friends to us, but we are not friendly to them. We desire them to listen to us, but we are not ready to listen to them. We desire them to give help, but we are not ready to give help. We desire them to be there when we need them, but when they need us, we are not there for them. And brethren, as Christians, people who know the Lord, we desire to be friends. As we need friends, we need to have friends, and we need to be friends to others, such that they will know the Lord and they will grow in the Lord because they have somebody closer who listens to them, who is ready to give the help that is needed by them. There are people who need friendship. We need to ask God to reveal them to you. You need to ask God to reveal people who need friendship to you and then take on that challenge of being a true friend to them. People out there are yearning to have someone a friend to them. 
Ask the Lord to lead you to the right people that need friendship. And then seek to be a true friend, a true friend, ready to share with them, ready to avail his time to them, such that they will be helped to grow in the knowledge of God, to grow in friendship, in a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And in John chapter 14, chapter 15 and verses 14, Jesus says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. Jesus says, you are my friend if you do what I command you. Brethren, we need to be friends with the Lord Jesus Christ. And you and me can be friends to the Lord Jesus Christ when we do what the Lord Jesus commands us to do. But if we do what is contrary to what the Lord Jesus requires of us, to what the Lord Jesus commands of us, then we are not friends with the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to do what he commands us before we can qualify to be friends with the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus never would forsake those who trust and love him. When you trust and love the Lord Jesus Christ, he will never forsake you. He will never leave you. He will always be by your side. Amidst all the challenges in life, when you trust in the Lord, when you give yourself to him, he will be by your side. He will be ready to support you, to stand with you amidst all the challenges in life. The Lord says, come now and let's reason together. Come now and let's reason together. He shows how friendly he is. That even when we live in this world, our lives may not be worthy. We may have not been worthy before his sight. But he says, despite your sinfulness, you can still reason with me. And that's why he invites us. And he says, come, come, let's reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are as red as current, I'll make them as white as snow. A true friend indeed, who is closer to us amidst all the challenges in life that we have. He invites us to come to him and have a moment of reasoning with him, of speaking it out with him, and then he will receive you. He will forgive you. He will cleanse you. He will make you a person worthy before his sight, a person worthy to represent him wherever you are, wherever you are, that his presence will be with you. And he still shows his friendship to us, brethren, when he says, in Matthew chapter 11 and verses 28, he says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus looks at us. He doesn't look at the top. But he looks into the inner you, the person in you, and he sees who you are. Because he's a friend, a true friend who is closer when things are hard. He knows our lives. And he says, come, come to me, all of you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus desires that he takes away the burdens. Jesus desires that he lifts them away from you, that you may have rest, that you may have peace of mind, that you may be reunited to him, reconciled with him, that in him you have the hope of of glory. And so it's my prayer that the Lord will be with you, that the Lord will watch over you, that the Lord will protect you, that you will allow him to be a true friend to you, a friend who never forsakes you when times are bad, but who draws more closer to you when things are difficult, that he may help you lift you up, that at the end you may enjoy in the eternity that he offers us. And as I conclude, brethren, may we be such friends to others for our master's sake. May we be such friends to others for our master's sake. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is our master, he is more closer to us. Let's be closer to others for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them until the end. He never stopped on the way, but he loved them until the end. That he was able to offer his life on the cross, and he died because of you and me. That we may be closer to him, that at the end we share in the gift of eternity with him. 
and we are friends if we do whatever the Lord commands us to do. We need to do what the Lord commands us to do, and we will be his friends, his closer friends, and he will stand with us till the end, that at the end of it all, we will share in the eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord protect you, that you find friendship in him. May the Lord be with you.